Hey, Chef Brian here from Merry Man Herbs and the Gooder Cooking Show. Coming to you today with another idea for something fun. Not sure if everybody knows what it is. Spaghetti squash. Love this stuff. Simple to cook with. We're going to show you a quick, simple idea using a little bit of butter. Some of our garlic bread seasoning, a little bit of our famous swirl sauce here for Merry Man Herbs, a little bit of, of uh, Parmesan cheese and some roasted garlic. Make something fun as a side dish for you. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Before we forget. Got us. Hi, Alan. The pasta idea is really good. You mean from that other video we shot? Yes, it's definitely not a selfish plug. Oh, it's, oh, it's not a self. Wow. No, it isn't. No. He got his hair cut for a change, and he, he actually, his brain is working really good because his, his, head, his head's lighter from all the hair being gone. Hey, got one for you, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I said, going to do a little bit of spaghetti squash. And because of the beauty of TV, video, whatever you want to call it, we've already got some stuff going on for you here, so we're going to be able to get through this pretty quick. But spaghetti squash, there's no reason to be worried about it, scared about it, have some fun with it. This is some beautiful stuff. And it is almost endless what you could do with it. I mean, it has got a palette, flavor palette, that's wide open. So we're going to show you one quick tonight one. But here's going to be easy for you to say, Chef. Told you, no editing. Completely raw. So when I look like a goober, I'm a goober. And trust me, I'm a goober. Hey, here's what we're going to do. Take your knife. Always remember, good sharp knife, right? Thumb and finger around here, you're going to grip your fingers around here, get a real good hold on this knife, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your knife into there and just bang them down, that way you don't cut yourself, cutting away from your hand, make that cut, then spin them around, I just spun them around, got to get through the core, and there it is, right? So what I've got is got the inside. Use a spoon, scrape all of this out, right? Discard all the stuff in the middle, and now you've got your squash. Or at this point, you with me? So what I've done was, is I put it onto a baking sheet upside down. No oil, no spray, no butter, no nothing. Just put them on there, baked them in a 350 degree oven until they were soft. Chef, how long does it take? I don't know. Your oven is probably going to cook different than my oven. You're going to bake them in the oven until they're soft, okay? Could take 30 minutes, could take 40 minutes, it could take 20 minutes. I don't know. It also depends on the size of your squash, okay? So, you just have to go with me here. So, what I've done is, so I got it, I got it cut, scraped, roasted, and this one's still, look at that, you can still see the steam. See the, the, the dark here, a little caramelization, there's lots of sugar in there. And all you're going to do is, using your spoon, if you get it baked off all the way, it just comes right out like so, and it's empty. This here goes in the trash, bye-bye, good to go, right? This is going to be how quick and simple this is. In my skillet, I got a little bit of oil. I got a medium fire, doesn't have to be super duper hot. It's going to cook nice and... Uh, nice all the way through. I'm, I'm going to be just fine. I've got my squash here. Now, here's the kicker. You can cook this off the day before. You can have it already scooped and in the refrigerator cold. It doesn't matter. The spaghetti squash police will not come and arrest you if you do this beforehand. I promise, okay? I got my oil in the skillet. I got a good little fire going underneath it, medium-high fire. What I'm going to do, a little spaghetti squash in there. I don't know if you can hear it, but if the oil and the spaghetti squash are talking to you, a little bit of a sizzle, ladies and gentlemen, you're sautéing, and we are good to go, all right? So, we've got our spaghetti squash in here. I've got some of those little fun peppers from Aldi's, those little baby peppers. i got a few of those. We're going to put a few of those in there. I've already sautéed those off with a little bit of our Gouda garlic bread seasoning. And what we're going to do, just to make sure there's plenty of love in there, add a little bit more of our Gooder garlic bread seasoning. And this would be a great place 
to add in a little bit of gooder seasoning as well. And then I've got some roasted garlic. You don't have to put this in there, but I've got some roasted garlic that I made when I was doing the prime rib special that's left over. I'm going to add a little bit of roasted garlic into that. Add a little bit of love in there. Okay, so that's in there. That's cooking away. Now, at this point, what could I do to it? Well, if you wanted to, you could add a little something more to it. Add some more vegetables, add some more, you could add chicken to it, shrimp into it, some pork sausage, whatever you want to do. Me, I'm going to keep it very simple tonight. And hey, this goes out to my friend Joe up in Tinley Park. This is, your daughter could cook this for her vegetarian meal, except for she won't eat because I'm going to put butter in it. Because butter makes things taste gooder. It does. It, so you're going to put a little bit of butter into it. This is a great place for some extra virgin olive oil, right? Just a little bit. So we've got a little bit of uh, butter into there. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese just because I feel froggy and I like it. So I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there. I'm going to give this a little spin, a little turn just because it's got to get mixed up. And remember when you're sauteing things, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to see how much you can put into there. You want to make sure that the definition of sauté is to jump. So you don't want to overfill it. You want to make sure there's plenty of room in your skillet so you can make it jump just like so. All right? Because that's way it can get tossed and get, and get mixed. And sauté is to make things bite-sized and things that are going to cook very, very quickly. It's a very fast preparation. But literally... We had our spaghetti squash pre-cooked off. We had our peppers a little sauteed off. We added a little bit of butter. We have added a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And onto our plate this goes. Just like so. Got to put an extra pepper or two on there just because we've got to make it pretty. In case Liz might want some. We're not going to share with Mike tonight. We don't, we're not digging Mike right now. It's all about Liz, our friend. Hey, and just to make sure that we up our flavor profile, we're going to add just a dollop of our spoon herbal sauce right on top. Ladies and gentlemen, a fun little item from the Glitter and Cooking Show here at Merry Man Herbs. A little bit of sautéed spaghetti squash with butter and a good garlic bread seasoning and a little spoon herbal spoon. Uh, see? Way to go, chef. Nice, nice job of articulating there. A little spoon, spoon herbal. Got to get my teeth fixed. In there, it's good to go. Remember, they're all raw videos. I promise, no editing. Something quick, something simple, something fun from the Gooder Cooking Show here at Merry Man Herbs. Remember, we only buy our foods, we try to, at Aldi's and here at Merry Man. So you can reproduce these recipes, I promise. And if you want to, shout out to my friends at the Mount Zion, Illinois, Aldi's. Brenda, the store manager, she's a spitfire. Go see my friend Brenda. Tell her chef sent you over to Aldi's in Mount Zion, Illinois. That's a great lady. Great, great group of people who work over there. Phenomenal. Hey! Don't forget, cooking with love makes your food gooder, I promise. And always remember, we get to have these fun little videos because we have veterans out there. Always thank a veteran. Bye, guys. Talk to you real soon. Thanks so much.